Welcome, stranger. Yeah, 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 or a calcum block. <clears throat> That's pointless. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've got to talk to everyone again. God fuck it, damn it. I hate doing this bullshit. It's just filler. Hmm. What else do they have in common? What are you up to? I'm compiling everything we know about Earth Pulse points. Starting with what the ones in Ward Forest and Polymedes have in common. I'll compare those points with the ones that didn't have any Therians. Then, I'll factor in everything I currently know about the Abbey's deployments. Once that's done, I'll match all that information against what we know about the locations Lafayette was able to sense. When that's completed, we should be able to tell which locations are more likely to house a Therian. You're really going all out, aren't you? Must you sound so incredulous? If you're going to do something, then give it your all! There is no other way to live. R right. I'm counting on you then. I'm not doing this for you. This is for me and for Lafayette. Do you even understand why that boy's trying so hard? Yeah, I do. Oh, sounds like she's gonna fucking try to have Lafayette as a sex slave. Dirty girl. Stupid bitch is mine. Fuck you. Uh, I can't, Kamawana. I I've got stuff to... I spy with my little eye. Something that starts with V. Vagina. <sighs> okay, I'll try. Uh, is it... Velvet? <laughs> uh, no fair. How'd you do it so fast? <laughs> Wait, what the Kamawana, fuck is this bullshit? I'm sorry, you don't have to cry. <laughs> Poor V. Stupid V, slap you in the back of the head. Have you been practicing your dove impression, Velvet? What? No. Now, now. A performer in Mogilu's menagerie has to be more diligent than that. What if we're stopped at a checkpoint and the guards ask you to perform a trick? If that happens, I'll show them my trick where I devour an entire witch faster than the blink of an eye. Oh, that would be a sight indeed. But seriously, if you ever want some magic tricks up your sleeve, let me know and I'll teach you some. Just 10,000 gold each. Okay. Oh, she's not happy anymore. Fuck you. Oh, hey, Velvet. You don't mind if I give Kudogane that orichalcum you fished up, do you? Doesn't matter to me. But do you really think he can make a weapon with that? Well, I don't know. What does the expert think? Conventionally, no, it's impossible. But when has convention ever stopped a demon? I won't argue that. We're dealing with the hardest metal in existence. But I'm ready to cast aside all doubt. To focus everything on forging my greatest creation. If anybody can do it, it's you. Good luck, Kurogane. Yeah, best of luck. If you can make Rokuro stronger, you'll be helping me out too. I consumed the block. Okay, you little shit. Hey, what do you say we track down another Therian? Sure. From what I can tell, the next closest Earth Pulse point is near the center of Midgand. Midgand, huh? The capital's not far from there. I wonder how things are now that Griffin's gone, though. Only one way to find out. Maybe so, but Aizen's not here, you know. You're right. I haven't seen him in a while. We should probably ask Benwick where he wandered off to. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, hold on. There's a letter here. On pretty cutesy stationery, too. Let's just have a quick look-see. As the cold turns bitter and the snow piles up on the mountains, I cannot help but think of you and hope you are in good cheer. As for myself, I am the same as ever, although I recently acquired a rare item that I shall be sending your... It's rude to read other people's letters, you know. Yeah, but how else are we supposed to find out whose it is? 
Does it say who the sender is? Uh, Uzfa Mewu Wexav. Who the hell is that? Probably someone on this island, if I had to guess. Hey! Anybody lose a letter? Do any of these folks look like the type to write a fancy letter? Point taken. It could be one of the pirates. Why don't we go to the docks and ask around? Fine, just don't forget our mission. Hello, boys. I got a dropped letter. No reply this time either? Eh, but she's doing okay. I can say that much. That's good to hear. I can rest easy then. Now's about getting that pot wrapped. I've got this new sunflower print, huh? How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah, that one's cute enough. Let's go with that. Did... Did he just say cute? <clears throat> Help you with something? Someone dropped this letter. Do you have any idea who it might... You didn't read it, did you? Wait, it's yours? We didn't read it. Much. Yeah. <laughs> you really didn't read it? N no, of course not. Is it your girlfriend? Who's got it? When you ship with the Turtles Express, rest assured your mail is in good hands. If you're done here, we're ready to head out. Our destination is Midgand. Yeah, I'm all set. Was he sending a gift to someone? And with a letter, too. Gotta be a lady friend, that's for sure. You think? Either way, that letter was really polite. And did you see that penmanship? Yeah, I didn't know old Reaps had it in him. I can hear you two, you know. Ah! Okay. Yikes. Better watch what we say from now on. Yeah. Yo, man, let's go. Eisen, is there, uh... Anything we can do about the Prince's Hawk? Griffin, I mean, every day it goes out on these hunts or whatever and brings back the weirdest stuff. It's making a real mess out of the deck. Hawk's hunt? What's the big deal? Well, yeah. At first it was bringing back good stuff like seaweed and fish, things we could cook with. Sure, I was glad for a while. But then it started to escalate. Now we're talking 150 kilo amber cans and 350 kilo killer swordfish that it's catching. That's not a bad thing, is it? It just means more to eat. It is when they're being dropped from the sky onto the deck. Especially those killer swordfish and razor-sharp bills! What if somebody gets run through by one? Can't you just warn the prince that his bird needs to be more careful? Yeah, we could, but he looks so happy watching his hawk, I'd hate to spoil it for him. Yeah, the prince looks so happy whenever Griffin is flying free. He kept grinning and asking Grocky all nice like if he wanted to fly some more. Grocky? That's what Kamawana kept calling Griffin. She says she came up with it by combining Griffin and Hawk. <sighs> this is probably the first time in the prince's life that he's tasted any freedom. His whole life he's only done what duty dictated of him. Letting Griffin fly was his first free act to the prince. Rocky is an extension of who he is. So what are we going to do? Nothing, really. It's not like it really hurt anybody. But it's punctured some major holes on the deck! I'm sure even the prince knows when to rein it in. Let him have a little fun. He deserves it. I don't know about all that. I'd say the prince is letting his newfound freedom get the better of him. Hey, I was just up on deck and it looks like Griffin's caught an elephant tuna this time. An elephant tuna? That's the really big tuna that can swallow a killer whale whole, right? That almost sounds like a demon to me. Yep. Huge fish, gills like elephant ears. I saw it myself. From the looks of it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a demon. It's crazy valuable. On a good day, it can fetch 20 million gold on the market. But there's something ominous about seeing it hovering in the air above the ship. 20 million gold? I take back everything I said. The Prince and Griffin can do whatever they want. Did she say above the ship? Oh, hell. Benwick, we need to stop Prince Percival. Aye, aye, sir. Hey! Don't drop that on the deck! Are you listening to me? What the fuck?
Gap the birds that cruelly loaned up the burp do. Okay, where are we going? Uh, train port located in Midgan, center of the continent. That's where we're going then, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Let's go! <clears throat> Hmm? The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. There you'll find one of ours who actually saw the demon. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Got it. Hey, that's the same direction I sent the- Give Tabitha our thanks. He seems like a moody bastard. Oh, look at Rock and Roll shoes. You going bowling? It's looking more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Aizen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But... aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends, either. That's just how it goes in the Underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back, but only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible, but at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. <laughs> Can't argue that. Yay, finally. Right. Need to quickly save. Boom. You got any more infos? Oh, is that a spider still? Rainbow Ro Fucking hell. Aldina Plains. Ooh. Total of 20 or more. Serial killer tree. <laughs> wow. Um, I need to go to a shop to see if I can upgrade my stuff since we can take it up to level 6 now. Expedition. Boom. Swimwear Rokuro. Explore this area again. Yes. Swimwear for Rokuro. <laughs> Fuck it out. I got me some shorts. School regulation swimwear. Is it a hand me down? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Well, if we go to the beach, we got some shorts. Alright. Once again, super speed. Okay, uh, where are we going? Across the plains east of the capital to Stonebury. 
So I need to go. Hang on. Right, we don't have a fucking compass or anything. So I'm taking it. That's north, south, east, and west. So I need to go to the Danan Highway on the right there, don't I? East, yes I do. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Stoneberry is where we actually get the Geo Board. I think. It's been a while since I've read about it, but... I believe it is. Imperian's throne up there, Southern Danan Highway. Right, let's go. Actually, where can I port to? Logris. I'm not quite sure. Fuck. Whoa, you fucking appeared out of nowhere. If I can grab this. Alright, whereabouts are we now? Logre. Okay, that's where Logre. Ah! Okay, so if I walk to Logre, that should take me just there. So if I turn around and go this way, I'll save a lot of travel time. Fuck you, big monkeys. Don't need your shit today. I think I've finally gotten used to it. Used to what? The butt plug. Your powers. I think I've finally got a handle on them in a way that feels right. That's good. Hopefully you won't faint anymore. Yeah. And I'll keep learning too. I hope we can make this work out. Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed. <sighs> eh. What's wrong? I want a butt plague. <laughs> hey! When you and Eleanor made your pact together, she gave you a true name, right? Was it a good one? Uh... True name? What's that? It's a special name in the ancient tongue given to a Moloch as a necessary step in forming a pact with a human. I gave Bienfu the name Fushikas. It means thing. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. It's just my own little way of showing affection. So what kind of name did you get, Luffy said? I... Uh... What's the matter? She didn't give you a really weird name like Mogulu gave Bien food, did she? If you're not happy with it, I can talk to Eleanor about it later. So go on and tell me... I'm fine with it. And I can't tell you anyway. Well, you don't have to get so worked up about it. A true name is not something a Moloch just casually divulges to others. They carry a special meaning to us. Speaking it to anyone other than our Pact Keeper carries a special meaning. Between comrades, it means we trust them with our lives. In other cases, it's... Practically a confession of love! You could have said something sooner, you know. Lafi sets at a delicate age. You should be more careful in the future. Oh, really? It's just another way of showing affection. Don't want to give him any awkward bonus. Oh, you son of a now. bitch! Fuck! Actually, have a quick look. Ooh, that one looks nice. Alright, this should be... Well, if I can get through this bit first. Now that it's open. Yeah! Whoa! 
dragon. <gasps> That's gotta be the demon Tabitha wanted us to know about. It's flying free, but could it still be a Therian? I just felt an Earth Pulse point. It's that way, somewhere near the top of that mountain. Let's check it out. Oh, easy to get to. Oh, the evil trees. Okay, we know... Gauss Lake Road. Climb the promising... The promising mountain in search of the off-post point. Okay. Nope, can't fucking go this way. Can't get these kitty poops though. Silver scrap. Fuck you, tree. That's a big ass birdie. Let's fuck it up. We can do this. Here, Ooh. Not even worth my time. Right, I've just uh, just seen that we got four of the uh, the BG now. Shit. Oh. So hopefully we can find the uh, the red code monster. Actually, I can look it up, can I? Yes, I can. It's not that. Uh, there we go. We're looking for this guy, the Rainbow Rock. Okay, so he might be. Well, to be honest, it does say he's in the plains. So it'll, he'll have to be up this way, won't he? There he is. Oh, those little bees. And now that I know how to actually fucking use the new, well, I'd say the newest, the other Mr. Cart, I can actually show you it. It doesn't actually tell you how to properly use it, it just has eight hits, but you need to actually have eight arts used. You have to use four arts, then go into the brake sole then use another four arts oh, it might be three because a brake sole I think counts as one I'm not quite sure on that but yeah then you use it and we're almost there fucking monkey I think I oh fuck Jesus there he is what the fuck 